Yo, what is going on guys? Coming back at you with another PTCGO gameplay video. Today we're going to be playing some games with the Weavile Buzzwool deck that uh, just got top four at the most recent uh, regional over in Brazil. Um, yeah, So here's a list that they played. Uh, I haven't played around with this deck at all. A deck like this or, or this deck at all myself. Uh, so I don't have too much of an opinion yet. But let's go ahead and get into some games and... Uh, so, uh, so we're getting into the first game here. Going second. Don't have a great hand, but this deck is very good, I feel like, at creating time um, to be able to play the game. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, we should be able to create a lot of space, a lot of time. Um, ooh, we're up against a Guardi deck. I actually don't know how this matchup goes. I have to assume this one is maybe unfavored, especially with the Sylveon. If they deal with the Sylveon early on. Um, but we'll find out. I'm actually not sure... All right, we can go after that Eevee on the bench to draw a prize, which is nice. I'm glad he gave us that as an option. Um, nest ball for a Buzzwool. Here comes Buzzwool. Tetch, and then Guzma. Knock out the Eevee. Take the free prize while we can, I think, is probably the best way to go about this. And Sledgehammer. Uh, nice. All right. It's a. Uh, it's only a Kakui, but uh, some draw power is better than none. Um. Oh, that looks like a turn two Guardi to me. <laughs> Aggressively sending up the Ralts. Oh, just a Curlia. Okay, interesting. Maybe a skateboard or something. Or he's gonna maybe Guzma up my Diancy. But he didn't have the energy last turn, so then he needs an energy as well this turn. Double tails on the timer ball is gonna hurt it quite a bit. And there's the Cynthia. So interesting choice to send up the Curlia or send up the Ralts there. I don't actually think that makes any sense unless I'm missing something. Oh, Candy Garden, here we go. DCE. Could have put the Shrine down last turn um, in preparation for like the Candy Guardian shenanigans. Um, I guess. Um, put it down this turn though. And then Kakui for two. All right. We got some stuff going on now. Um, how do I want to do this, though? Hmm. I don't need to Ultra Ball quite yet. I think I can just go Bench Buzz will attack. I would like to draw the cards right now, though, if possible. So I could actually go... Yeah, so I can go Ultra Ball these two... Unfortunately, get rid of a getting rid of a choice band. Get the instruct Oranguru. We'll attach to the bench. Uh, Palpat and a Guzma and a Kakui because I feel like having the Kakuis is really nice. Having access to the Kakui. get that draw, get that draw on right now. Um, because we're definitely gonna need to start finding stuff over the next turn. So I'd rather just look for it now. There we go. Now we got a a Cynthia for the next turn. Hit the Curlier for 70, and then let the Shrine start to do its work. All right, we're in a pretty good spot now. Um, hopefully our Di uh, hopefully our Diancy can't get won't well, our Diancy should not be able to get Guzma knocked out this turn. That's like the only like di protecting Diancy is like super important. Or hoping they can't knock out Diancy, Diancy super aggressively is super nice. Um, <clears throat> Nest Ball, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be able to chase our Diancy. Nest Ball for Lele, interesting. Well, maybe now I'm just confused. Unless they plan to use Lele to attack with early on. I'm not sure. That might have been a misclick on their end. I feel like it probably was. Unless they're actually going to send up to Lele. No, they're sending up Sylveon. But they don't have... Don't seem to have... What's it called here? Um, Slug was nice. Definitely want to set up that. I think I'm just going to go Guzma to Lele. And punch the Lele with uh, one of the buzzwolves here. Get the Instruct for two. Nice. Got the Macargo for next turn. All right, we're in a pretty good spot now. Get off the sledge. The Shrine is still doing work. I could have chased the Curlia, I guess, and taken out the Curlia, but that's like an odd prize attacker. And when there's three GXs in play, I feel like I can definitely... Um... Oh, okay, so he had Ace Arola in hand, and so Nest Ball for Lele, knowing it would take the Shrine damage. Oh, it's actually very cute. Um, so we are dealing with healing... In this Guardi deck, which, uh, I mean, I expected some kind of healing for sure. Um, it's going to be a little troublesome to have to deal with. The real thing I'm curious is if they have any uh, field blowers or not. Um, that's, the, that's the main thing. I'm not worried about it, but more interested to see if they have it or not. Um, 
Hmm. So what do I even want to set up right now? I think I want to start just doing more damage. So I think I'm just going to smooth over a choice band. Got all three in there. Yeah, just smooth over a choice band, Lily into it. Just start hitting harder with the sledgehammer. I don't really see a reason not to be hitting harder. Don't really want to waste. Don't need to use the acrobite. Don't need anything this turn. Don't need to attach a unit energy. Everything is basically a one prize attacker. I feel like you rarely set up the sledgehammer or the swing around ever in this deck. Um, I don't want to waste a unit on, or put a second unit on a buzzle. I want to save it for the um, the Weavile if possible. All right, Guardy's got an energy. There's the Cynthia finally. So finally we've seen him doing something. Um, interest, I'm interested as to why they put it on the Guardian and didn't go for the Magical Ribbon. Um, they probably need to go for a Magical Ribbon this turn, even if the Sylveon's for sure like going to get knocked out. I think going for a Magical Ribbon would definitely have been the way to go there. All right, second Guardy's in play. I'm fine with that. We'll keep taking damage from the Shrine. Um, and this is really, I mean, I don't, I feel like this game is not, I mean, they're drawing not great, but that is a kind of the, what's going to happen with the Guardi Sylveon deck. But the uh, power of this one prizer deck, uh, pretty strong. The one prizer decks are pretty strong right now. Um, if I was them, I wouldn't have even candied the Guardi yet. No need to let me get extra damage in play. You can avoid it. Um, nothing we can do about this magical ribbon, though. So if they go chase our Diancy, nothing we can do about it. That's always something that's kind of like scary. Um, that's definitely what you want to do against these one prize attacker buzzwell decks is chase that Diancy. Definitely go after that Diancy, take it out of play. Um, yeah, reducing that damage by the 20 every turn when we're, they don't even do that much damage to begin with anyways is huge. Definitely chasing Diancy is a good way to go about dealing with these one prize attacker decks. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Cynthia, see some new cards. Nothing much changed. Um... I think I'm going to smooth over a Kukui so that I can draw whatever I want off the Kukui next turn. Um, yeah, it seems reasonable to me. Um, and then Sledgehammer for Knockout. Drawing our first two prizes. Once again, try and damage about to come through. Set them all up again. All right, Ultra Ball is nice. Then out the hand, potentially for a smooth over Instruct. They're going to have to... I don't even know what they're... They're going to have to come with some kind of plan, though. Uh, it's looking really nice for us. Has three abilities, so we can probably knock this Guardi out with Weavile next turn, and then we can clean up with Sledgehammer the turn after. Um, so we're in a really good spot right now. Uh, if they put another ability in play, then I'll, if they keep just three abilities in play, then I won't worry about putting a um, another Sneasel in play. But if they do put another ability in play, then I'll go with Sneasel over Buzzwool. Um it does take them it takes them four energy as well to actually get the the knockouts. Um so Diantha so see they'll take twenty more damage, they'll be at ninety damage having um one forty HP left. So I can attack with Sneasel, Tweeviles. Um Yeah, so we'll set up another buzzle because I don't want to like chase my buzzle, but then I could get another buzzle anyways. I don't know. We're taking the knockout with Weavile. I don't really have anything I want to ultra ball away, so I might Kakui smooth over Kakui it. So that should be enough to be 150. 150 is the knockout here. So if we go, I'll do Nest Ball, check what's in the deck. Probably get another, get another Sneasel, actually. Yeah. And then we can go smooth over the Weavile, smooth over Weavile, and then I can Kakui into the Weavile. There we go. Kakui into Weavile, and then we're good to go. With Evil animation for the knockout um if he takes a knockout next turn we have sledgehammer active we have one prize left they're gonna need a miracle at this point i think with five prizes left um shrine of punishment has been so much work this game it's actually insane um two more gx to set up on the bench um i assume they're going for some kind of guzma play if they're going for this maybe guzma up my buzzwool but we have a guzma in hand so we're gonna be able to take out this lele That'll have 70 damage. I mean, no matter what we do, we'll be able to win the game. Yeah. Now infinite force. We could get back a buzzwool. We have so many options between the Macargo, Struct, Acrobike. Um, but just Guzma up Lele to close it out. He even put another, they put another ability in play. Um, we didn't need it. Two abilities are more than enough. And we're going to be able to close out this one with the evil animation on the Weavile. There we go, taking the first game. Um, our opponent didn't draw so hot, um, but the heavy, the decks that are heavily based around GXs, that's that's what this deck thrives off of. 
uh, or best matchups are the heavy GX base decks is what this deck beats consistently, no matter what. That's uh, that's what this, this that's that those are the matchups that this puzzle we deck is looking for every time. Let's go ahead and play right, some more games. Get into another game here. Soon. Going second. I'm not going to mention Slugma because I want to be able to just use the Guzma. Um, bring something up. Oh, so we're playing against a Zorak deck. Uh, e another GX based deck. That's what uh, Buzzwool Weavile loves to see. Um, very good matchup for the for the Buzzwool deck. Um, so Zorak based deck. Um, yeah, I didn't bench the Slugma because I would have wanted the option of like saving the switch plus using like Guzma to get something that way I don't have to like bring anything above my bench and then I'm forced to use the switch. Um, so it is Zorak Weavile. Um, not really scared of Weavile. Cynthia to follow it all up. That's Arua. Sneasel. So not actually a great start so far from him. There's a Coco. Makes it a little bit better. There's another Sneasel. Definitely making it a little bit better. Would have definitely, I'm sure he definitely would have liked to have seen some more uh, Zaruas, though. Okay. Um, so we're definitely going to knock out the active. I think I'm just going to bench Slugma and then Sledgehammer don't really want to bench the Sneasel because of the Cocoa Spread, but that shouldn't actually really matter. Yeah, let's go ahead and bench the Sneasel as well. Cocoa Spread shouldn't really matter because uh, everything is such low HP, it's going to get knocked out anyways. So I'm actually rethinking it. I'm not actually worried about it, I don't think. Nest Ball. So a Ultra Ball or a Cargo Top deck would actually be super sick here. It would allow us to find the Beast Energy and then KO this uh, Tapu Coco. Um, so I would actually be super sick here to find a um, to find a uh, whatever I just said. I can't even remember what I just said. Okay, nest balls. Okay, I don't know if I want to grab anything really. Um, could grab a buzzwool. I want to go chase another Zerua this turn. Um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go all out here. Grab buzzwool. Um. Unit energy here, this here, Guzma up as a Rua. This buzz wall. Switch back into this buzz wall. Uh, choice band to put on the buzz wall for now, I think. Oops, and was meant to instruct. There we go. Instruct for three. Um, gonna hold this Sneasel and then get the Sledgehammer for the knockout. Um, there we go. There's the Macargo. That's what I've been looking for. Now we can get the... Well, we don't even have to use the Beast Energy this time anymore. We could actually just get the small um, Diancy and go Kukui Diancy knockout. Save the Beast Energy for later um, for when we want to take like, a big knockout with that. Could also just go for another Guzma knockout of Sarua, but I think actually dealing with this... Um, dealing with this Coco right now is probably best. I don't want to get quite flying flipped too many times. Um... The current hand, I could just go get another Guzma that would knock out that's a rule with the DC. I don't hate that idea. There's an enhanced hammer. So those are going to be annoying for sure. Um, so I actually definitely want to avoid putting down any more unit energy if I can. I don't know how many enhanced hammer they play. Um, so I think we'll just go for the KO on the Coco here. Um, we'll just go with Cargo. We'll bench the Sneasel. Um, and then we'll smooth over. Oh, no, I can't bench the Sneasel. Oh, well, now we have to go with the Beast Energy. I'm supposed to not bench the Sneasel. I'm supposed to put the Diancy down. <laughs> uh, so now we're smooth over in the Beast Energy, and we're going to get Kui into that for the overkill. Um, oh, well. Not the not the worst mistake I've ever made. Sledgehammer. <clears throat> yeah, Diancy is in there. Uh, but sometimes you just don't want the Diancy, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just don't need it. Yeah, that was a big one. Uh, <laughs> definitely a big mistake there. Would have been very nice to have saved that beast energy for later. I was supposed to not bench the Sneasel and then go smooth over Diancy, Kikui into Diancy, bench Diancy, Sledgehammer for knockout. Um, but uh, we're going to have to go with this instead, I guess. Right, there's a Slugma. So a lot of potential abilities that could come out here that we can abuse and start hitting with. Um, ooh, weakness policy. That's going to be annoying, actually. All right. So they're looking for weakness. So it's weakness policy to Varad Field. They're looking for the Zorak to knock us out. Um, I'm not too scared of that. Um, and if they whiff, we're definitely in a really good spot. I don't know if they've been whiffing Zoroks or just choosing to not put them in play. I'm actually leaning toward, I think they've just been whiffing Zoroks this whole time. Uh, there's another Zerua. 
Are we just going to see the Ram for 20? Or will Zork come out finally? Counter catcher. Up my Rangaroo. And the Ram for 20. Yeah, so they've just been whiffing this whole time. <laughs> um, so now we can go smooth over a switch. Um, put the switch on top. Acrobike into the switch with that nice Acrobike top deck there. Boom, get the switch. Lose the stretcher, unfortunately, but can't have it all. Switch into the buzz. And, well, I guess because of the beast energy, we're able to get this next Sledgehammer Chaos. Or, yeah, Sledgehammer Knockout. So, you know, uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. This time it's fine. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, three, six. I'm just curious how many items are in here. All right. Here comes a Sneasel finally. So I'm assuming they have a Weavile hand and they'll look, be looking to go Evil Animation. We do have, what, two abilities in play. So that is going to be a knockout with the Weavile. We will be able to respond with uh, Diancy plus Sledgehammer for the knockout. Um, so we're still in a great spot. Uh, they did use the Apricorn Maker. I actually haven't also, also I haven't found a, I haven't found a stadium yet. I actually just kind of noticed that. I don't have, I haven't found a stadium yet. Uh, I think it was Apricorn Maker for two Ultra Balls. So they maybe are not playing Timer Balls. Um, so that kind of explains why it's been hard for them to find Zorak. They don't play Timer Balls way, like if usually two to three Timer Balls is pretty much the standard in Zorak decks right now. So if you're cutting those, uh, you're definitely limiting yourself on being able to find uh, Zoraks, your evolution Pokemon. Um, so I don't feel quite as bad anymore if, they're, if that's what they're cutting. Well, I do really want to just get the Diancy. Um, I should be able to find it off this Cynthia, so I'm just going to go with the Cynthia and find it. There we go. S ball. Oops. I almost messed up again, putting a Sneasel in play instead of Diancy. Ultra Ball for next turn. So we can Ultra Ball for Weavile next turn, but I would prefer to not Ultra Ball for Weavile. Um, but we might need extra damage from like Kakui or something, so I could put a Kakui on top. We have Sledgehammer next turn to close out the game if they take a knockout. Um, we already have all that set up in hand. Um, so I'm just going to smooth over a Weavile because I might potentially attack with Weavile next turn. I don't think I will, but who knows. Uh, yep, and we got Sledgehammer for the knockout on this Weavile. Down to one prize. Um, still have yet to see a Shrine of Punishment, um, which is kind of funny, but... Uh, I haven't needed it, so I'm not going to complain too much. This is the first GX we've seen. There's the second one. Um, they definitely need a judge this turn. Uh, even then, they're going to need a lot past that to close this out. We hopefully we don't whiff the sledgehammer turn. Um, yeah. So there should have been. I should have like already had it. I should have had a second baby buzzwool in place. So if this Sneasel was Diancy, then the Diancy would become a baby buzzwool, and I'd be set up to go ahead and and use sledgehammer. There's Lily. That's not a judge. Um, and as far as I know, there's no other card in the format that can shuffle our hand into our deck. Um, I guess, what's it called? Uh, Peaking Red card, but I doubt we're going to see that. There's an Ace of Rolla. Um, that's three abilities in play now, so we would actually be doing a ton of, ton of damage. They have an Ace of Rolla to prepare for that, but we have Baby Buzzle, Fighting Energy, Guzma, so we're just going to go ahead and knock out something off the bench. Um, we can knock out whatever we want, actually, because we do have the Choice Band. Buzzwool, Fighting... Uzma, bring up the Buzzwool, and then Choice Band, Sledgehammer for the knockout. All right, I'm taking another one. Let's go ahead and uh, do All one right, more. Another game here. One. Great start, actually. We got the Lily turn one, uh, which you don't always see with this deck because it doesn't play any Lele, so there's no way to search out turn one supporters. Um, powerful turn one supporters. <clears throat> Got the unit energy, got the choice. At the very least, we'll be able to draw five with the Lily. Um, hopefully, we top deck. Um, I guess Ultra Ball would be okay. Ideally, a Nest Ball um, top deck would be nice. We'll see what our opponent's playing as well. That'll have a factor. Playing against the Zoro Garb. Um, this match was probably a pretty close one. Um, Baby Buzz will work, so it's a good top deck. Go like this, and then Lily for five. Oof. Not a great hand besides that. I think we definitely want to get the Slugma out here. Um, unless I want to get extra Sledgehammer damage. Maybe I should have held on to this for a turn. Um, I think we want the Slugma because if we top deck Ultra Ball and Recargo, we have something we can get that can actually start drawing us cards um, or giving us a card that we want. Um, 
So we're still we're not in a terrible spot. Like this deck is really good at slowing down the pace of the game. So even though like we don't have a ridiculously good start, we can make the we can keep the pace of the game slow, uh, give ourselves time to top deck into something eventually. Um, trubbish, trubbish, sure, that's fine. Um, those are going to be the main uh, Pokemon we're going to have to deal with is the Trubs um, or Garbodor. They'll become Garbodors eventually. Um, yeah. There's Lily, Lily for five. So Garbodor is going to be the main deal. We don't have enough items. And actually, if we can keep the item count really low early on, and force, if they want to like get actually one shots on our Buzzwolves, so they'll have to go with the Acid Sprays. Um, that's pretty good for us. Um, we'll just kind of have to see. It, depends, it all depends on what we draw. Um, I might actually go for an early swing around and attach a second basic fighting to the active. I actually think I will. Because um, I'm in kind of a... Not a terrible spot, but not a great spot. The thing about... I guess the one thing about Zora Garb is they usually do play Enhanced Hammers. Um, so that would me, be me playing into Enhanced Hammer. Um, we want to avoid the items early. That would be our second item, potentially third there. Um, I think I'm just going to play for the swing around. Don't really need to do anything else. Just avoid items in the discard. There's another item. At some point, we're just going to have to break the items, item count, um, and then just go from there. I uh, just want to delay it as long as possible, pretty much. Nest Ball would probably be for a, another Buzzwool. Um, so it looks like we are going to be able to do the swing around. Maybe I'm going to grab Diancy here then to try and get the one shot. Yeah, I would grab Diancy here then. I would try and get that swing around one shot uh, off the nest ball. And that would be a third item once this puzzle gets knocked out. Um, so I wouldn't want to put any more items past that. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be terrible if I did. Oh, there's the judge. So we're probably not going to be able to get off the swing around for as much damage as I wanted to. Um, as everything gets shuffled back into the deck, down to four. Not that bad of a draw. Yeah, there's the enhanced hammer that I was talking about that they play. Um... And a field blower. That's just annoying, man. <clears throat> Only hit us for 60, though. So I really don't want to commit another energy active. I'll force them to commit energy active if they want to. Uh, Kikui for two. Uh, so we got some good follow-up. And then I'll just go with the sledgehammer. So trying to avoid the item count. We have two items in there now. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably put a choice band on the next buzzwool. And then play Cynthia. Look for a fighting energy. Just hit, the, hit into the Lele. Um... Interested to see what they're going to do on their turn. Would really like to see a shrine. That's what uh, that's what we're really missing right now is a shrine. We really just need a shrine. Get the extra damage in from the shrine. Uh, help us close out the... To help us be able to close out this game. We're, we're going to be a little stuck if we can't find a shrine anytime soon. Um, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. That's for, for sure. Um, Isarola. That's pretty annoying. Here comes up a Zorak to knock us out. The right is beating for 80. Orangaroo's coming down as well. Orangaroo's going to be annoying to deal with as well. A lot of annoying things to deal with coming up. Um, we're not in a bad spot. If we top deck uh, Beast Energy, we can actually go for the knockout this turn. No Beast. Fighting Energy is what we wanted, though. So we'll just go ahead and commit to that. Play the Cynthia. Looking for that Shrine. Not quite. We actually would have been able to get the knockout here if we had wanted to. I'm going to go with Sledge. Once again, keeping the item count low. We're only at two items. Uh, we do have a choice band in play, which I would have preferred to not have put in play, but uh, I don't think we really had a great option there on on that choice band. I think we definitely had to just put it in play and just swing. All right. Um, so it's actually hard for us to KO Garbodors. Um, it's actually kind of difficult. Um, so we might just try and not KO Garbodor the whole game, and we can go like KO Zora, KO Zora, KO Rangaroo actually at this point. Um, it depends what he's able to like get out of play and or put back into play, whatever, whatever it might be. Um, <clears throat> that'll come down to how he is able to play the game as well um, i don't get to just choose unfortunately um, but ideally we just never never ko a garbador and then can just go from there uh, so last card in his hand is lele this makes me this makes me think that he probably plays two ace Arola, which means he's probably about to go get another ace Arola, um potentially instead of just going cynthia first um Maybe looking for like a Guzma play though. That's also possible. So I was digging like for a DCE and then Guzma knock out my Slugma. But that does give me Sledgehammer. Um, so I wouldn't be a huge fan of that. Oh, second Ace Arola. All right. Well, looks like we're having to deal with two Ace Arola, which is uh, super annoying. <laughs> I'm curious to see if the Orangaroo is going to make its appearance. Nope. It's going to be Zorark. Uh, so we can actually get the Sledgehammer one shot here. 
or yeah, yeah the sledgehammer one shot and then we'll still have access to sledgehammer which is pretty sick the diancy top deck is actually insane um uh, yeah that's actually insane top deck right there i didn't want to have to ultra ball for it and now i don't uh sledgehammer knockout the zorak um yeah i didn't want to have to ultra ball for diancy and not having to is great now i still only have three items in my discard pile which means when i sledgehammer with this buzz wall, which uh, he definitely has to deal with this buzz wall, so that'll give me Sledgehammer. Um, he won't actually have an answer to be able to knock out this, this buzz wall. Um, so we're actually in an insane spot right here. Yep, that's what I expected. Trash Lanch is going to come active to Trash Lanch us. Still have yet to find a, a, what's it called? A shrine, which has once again been a little bit annoying. I would like to have a shrine out here dealing damage to the Lele, dealing damage to the Zark. Um, so we're kind of stuck a little bit. <laughs> Um, not the worst thing ever. We can deal with it. I think I will Guzman knock out the Zorok on the next turn with Sledgehammer. Um, once again, I'll be at three items. It'll make it very hard for him to turn off Sledgehammer. I actually think he won't be able to, which is what we're trying to play into here. If I KO the Zorok, um, the only thing that can really turn off Sledgehammer is he'd have to KO one of these bench Pokemon, which means he'd have to... He would actually have to use Rhytus Beating. So if I can just KO the Zorok, there's no way for him to turn off uh, Sledgehammer. Oh, I guess you could put a DC on this Garb. So maybe I should just knock out the active then. Eh, now, now that I've realized, well, he could just put DC on Garb, knock out us. Three card hand, though. Um, DC on goes to Garb, knocks us out, and we'd have to have a response for that, which we don't currently. Get rid of all of his draw power would be very nice. Don't currently have an answer to this, this Garbador, though. So we could just Sledgehammer the Garbador. And then somehow pick up a KO on one of the GXs later on. I think I like that a little bit better than actually. Okay, my cargo's very nice. Um, I think I will bench the second Slugma. Maybe not. All right, so we can go like this then. And then we can... This allows us to actually Cynthia actually instead. And hopefully find some basic Pokemon. Without having to Nest Ball for them. Found a Shrine though. That's super hyped to see. Super hyped to see that Shrine. Uh, smooth over... I just want a basic Pokemon. I think I just want a Buzzwool. Um, I guess a Sneasel would be pretty cool, actually. I got a Nest Ball for Sneasel. Put a Weavile on top. Maybe that would have been a better way to go. Anyways, we got the Sledgehammer for the knockout. Going down to two prizes. Still only three items in our discard pile, which means Trash Lanch can't one-shot us. Can't Acid Spray because this one doesn't have an energy yet. So he has to go with Zork coming active, actually, now. Um, to KO one of these, or Guz Zora Guzma DCE, two bench Pokemon. So still put him in a pretty awkward spot um, to actually be able to turn off Sledgehammer. Um, so I think we're actually, yeah, we're still in a very good spot. So he has to have DCE, two basic Pokemon, Guzma in a five-card hand. So I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I think uh, we pretty much have this one locked up. Um, and if they want to go with Trash Lanch, that buys them a turn, then I KO that, then they're able to KO this. But it's also possible I just get, well, currently, actually, I would just have game in hand um so we'll see we'll see what they uh we'll see what they got there's a stretcher they maybe got it dce they need dce basic pokemon guzma there's the dce oh no they just need one post pokemon because they can ko my uh my macargo all right well they got the knockout on the macargo little annoying but we're still in a really good spot they still don't have a way to one shot um our buzzwool so we're just gonna send buzzwool up let the shrine keep doing its work. Probably bench two Sneasels. Um, yeah, bench Sneasel, bench Sneasel, and then just go ahead and Sledgehammer. Once again, if I don't put another item in the discard pile, they are hard-pressed to actually be able to KO a Buzzwall, so we're just going to be chilling for the rest of the game um, until we're forced to play down items. Eventually, we will be forced to play down items, but until that happens, I'm not, not going to worry about it. Just going to chill. All right, so they did get the 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 K on the Makara, but like I said, like it does allow us to just hit into this Zorark. Um, they're down two Acerola. They might play a Palpat as well. So we could see them like put both Acerolas back in the deck. That's where it would get a little annoying. Uh, they still wouldn't be able to one shot our Buzzwall though, which is important. But they could like Palpat both Acerolas back in the deck. Lele for Acerola, Acerola the Zorark, and then we could actually see them go into a Rangaroo to put like the Palpat and an Acerola back in. Um, they really don't have enough draw power currently to be able to like chain us out of the game or like loop us out of the game. So I'm not worried about that yet. Um, but that could become a issue down the line for sure. All right, so if we get a Guzma here, I think we just win. 
Looks like it's going to be a hard retreat to Zork and then just hit us for 120. Um, fine with that. Oh, there's a Guzma. That's not going to do anything, though. That'd be punch our Diancy for 60. I, mean, I guess it does technically do something. Uh, it doesn't do enough, I guess is what I should have said. <clears throat> we have the switch in hand, so at the very least, we can switch out. Um, it's an item, so I'm not trying to... I'm trying to avoid using items, but... We're going to dig for the Guzma here with the Acrobike, I think, on this turn. There's an Ultra Ball. Does that do anything for us? We could draw more with Instruct. So we could Ultra Ball away, trying to Nest Ball... Good ultra ball away shrine and nest ball. Okay, so we could do this. We can go. Hmm. I don't. I really don't want to put another item in the deck in the discard pile. I could. No, if I play switch though, I have to do anyway. So yeah, we may as well just go all out at this point. So here's at the here. I guess is the point where we just go all out on items. Uh, so I guess if I had put slugma in play, then I could have got the macargo this turn, uh, which I probably should have put the slugma in play when I had it earlier. Uh, so we got Kakui and two Guzmas. Um, do this. <clears throat> Attach to... How many unit energy do I have left? Two. Attach to the Weavile. Switch to the Weavile. Do I hit it for 100? Yeah, I'd rather save the Buzzwool, I think. Um, or switch to the buzzwool. Switch. Oh, how many items are in here now? Four, five. Supposed to be six. So we can actually one shot the weavile as well. All right, switch to the weavile, and then we'll instruct for two. And if we get Kakui, we actually knock out with evil. Okay, we got the Guzma though, so we get to just go ahead and chase the Zork. Yeah, so we got the. So I guess switch to weavile right because I get Kakui, then I can knock out his active with weavile. We got the Guzma, so we got the sledgehammer for game. And there we go. And that's definitely, I mean, Zorg matchups are definitely favored. I think this is probably the closest Zorg matchup for this deck. Uh, because it's really hard for us to deal with Trash Lanch Garb. It's really actually really hard for us to deal with Trash Lanch Garb. But um, if we can avoid putting down items in this card pile early like we we're able to, uh, we can eventually snowball it out of control into our favor and then just take the game from there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. If you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, constructive criticism as always is welcome in the comment section down below uh links for my twitch live stream twitter all fun stuff like that in the description below uh thanks for watching again guys have a good day and peace